having the hotel in my family for four generations. It is really my responsibility to make sure that it stays in the family for another four generations. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that we stay here. If minimum wage really went to $15 an hour, there have been talks like we have to shut down. I'm a fourth generation hotelier. My great grandfather um, basically picked up this piece of property here through a Christian missionary. He actually started us here in San Diego. But I've been in this business forever. I cleaned my first room when I was six, if you want to call it cleaning a room. Um, and just been in the hospitality industry for my entire life. On January 1st, California's minimum wage rose to $10 an hour, which affected Elvin Lay's two businesses in very different ways. Since the, the wage hike in January 1st, not much has changed here at the hotel. Um, everyone was being paid a competitive wage already, so there wasn't much effect. But now at the restaurant, that changed significantly. So our prices actually went up uh, about eight or nine percent in order to compensate for um, the wage increase. Now, San Diego residents are gearing up to vote on a proposal in June that increases the city's minimum wage again from $10 an hour to $11.50 an hour. The $11.50 an hour increase would actually happen after the June election. If that were to occur, you know, the hotel labor costs would probably increase around 12 percent, which is pretty small. Now at the restaurant, totally separate story, right? I have a whole back of the house that needs to be there in full force in order to put out a menu. With the increase in minimum wage um, in June, the pricing will probably change on a weekly basis. Um, as our vendors increase their pricing to, to factor in labor, we'll see food costs increase, uh, linens, soda, uh, beer, wine, all of those will increase, which will then in fact impact the ending price for the consumer. Elvin currently pays his hotel employees more than the minimum wage, but he worries about how a wage hike will impact the middle class, especially in the wake of a new state law raising California's minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2022. The concern will be if the rate, the wage increase went to $15 an hour, where it just spiked up very, very quickly without allowing the market to absorb the cost. So the minimum wage employees aren't even gonna be able to purchase everything that's going up anyway. So it's, it's really creating a never ending cycle in my mind. There are things that are coming up, like the minimum wage increase, um, that I will be outspoken about in order to make sure that I'm able to stay here. My goal here is really to just make sure that we're able to sustain, to live, where my great, great, great grandkids can be proud and say, we're still here, right? We're still churning, we're still doing business, and we become a staple in the community.